A campaign to ban spitting in public is gaining support in Burma. People chewing and spitting betel nuts is common in the country. The problem is they leave behind a red stain wherever they choose to aim. The ban's being proposed by politicians who say public buildings and property have been damaged by the spit. What I want is, in our country, there are zones like no smoking, no littering and no honking zones. We should have a no betel nut spitting zone. I think that will be more suitable if we approach it like this. One solution being put forward is to get nut sellers to provide plastic cups or bags to spit in, something that's supported in favour of an outright ban. Most of the people who sell betel nuts sell them for their household income. Betel chewing has existed for a long time, since the time of Burma kings. If they spit the betel nuts with discipline, then there'd be no issues. The issue is yet to reach Parliament, but mess aside, doctors say chewing the nuts can damage people's mouths and teeth and in the long term even lead to cancer. Check out Truthloader. We're the home of citizen journalism online. We've got playlists on Syria and the recent Israel and Palestine conflict, and there's also a playlist of weirder stuff. We've also got a great new show called Truthloader Investigates, which looks at the kinds of things you won't see on the mainstream news. And if that wasn't enough, we'll also be hosting live debates, which you can be a part of. Check out whatever you like, but the best way not to miss out is to subscribe.